Hi Gabe. This morning we're going to have a little go at making a little uh, picture made out of wet felt. So a little landscape picture. Now in your kit you're going to have a selection of colours. You're going to have some white merino. Um, so if you sort your, your fleece out into colours, so put all your blues together, all your greens together and all your browns together. So we need the white, the blue, the greens and the browns. Browns, greys, blacks, okay? Um, other things that you're going to need is you've got your bubble wrap in your kit. Um, you're also going to need a towel. And what I normally do is I cut a little piece of paper to use as a template so that I know what size picture I'm making. So not too big. Um, let's think, in your little kits, so you should all have another little kit like this, a little bonus kit. You want your piece of paper to be about the same size as the little piece of felt that's in there. All right. Um, so the piece of paper that you cut out goes underneath your bubble wrap, in between the towel and your bubble wrap. And the bubble wrap has to have the bubble side up towards you. Okay, so towel, bubble wrap, little piece of paper underneath to give you a guide. Sort all your fleece out. The other things you're gonna need out of your kit is you're gonna need this little packet with all your bits and bobs in it. You're going to need this packet, which is your soap flakes. Um, at some point, you're going to need some scissors, so just have them handy. Um, and what I'm going to show you today, you can repeat with your little bonus kit. Now, there's two bonus kits. This one is a robin. If you've got one with red fleece, it's a Christmas tree. So these were ones that we did at Christmas. I thought it'd be good for practicing. So you're going to do the same as we did we're going to do today but instead of the first stage which i'm going to use the white merino the little mini kit has got a piece of um pre-fill so you skip the first stage and you just put that down and then paint with your fleece on top so that's the christmas tree one and that's the robin one so hopefully you'll be able to work those out yourself you're just quite self-explanatory once so once you've had a go so pop that to the side so the first thing we're going to do, I always think of this as the first part of it is to make your piece of paper. So you take your white merino and you're just going to hold it just by the very, very tips and you're going to pull a section of it out like that and you're going to lay it down. So we're going to lay a little strip from top to bottom like that. All the way along okay and then next one we're going to turn it round so the bit that's in my hand is at the bottom there we go and we're going to make that a little bit stronger by putting some going that way Oops. this stuff sticks to your hands especially if you've got dry hands so just lay some going across the way as well all the way down to the bottom. Come on, there we are. So you don't have to be too precise about this. So this bit is just making your piece of paper. So you can kind of see the shape. We'll pop the white off to the side because we won't need that for the moment. So we're going to split the picture into three parts or thirds. Okay, so the first third here is going to be the sky. The second third here is going to be the mid-ground or the hills and then the third bit here is going to be your foreground. So the sky is made up of your blues. I want you to choose, you should have three blues in your pack. So you should have a darker blue, so they'll all have different. So just take whichever one your darker blue is and then you should have sort of a middle blue and then a, a lighter blue. Some of you might have this one, which is a blended one. Doesn't really matter, just sort them into light, middle and dark. We're gonna start with the dark. All right, now this is just painting with fleece. So your sky should have a little bit of darkness at the top. So we're just gonna add a tiny little bit of the dark fleece along the top of our picture like that. Then we're gonna take our middle color going to carry on painting that third so you're going to lay it down like that ok 
Okay, and this is the third. So we've got the darker colour, the middle colour, and then the last bit is we're going to do our lighter blue. There. And you can kind of overlap them a little bit. So you end up with the first third of your picture is dark blue to light blue. Pop them to the side. Shouldn't need the blues again. So the next colours we're going to take is our browns, greys. So again, you'll all have different colours. Some of you might have this blended one. Do the same thing. This time we're going to sort it into two. So you're going to choose a light colour and a dark colour. So I'm going to choose the light grey. Um, we're going to do two hills. And when you look at the hills, the farthest away hill should be lighter. So we're going to take a little bit of the lighter colour that you've chosen. And you're going to draw the shape of your hill in the second third of your picture. So your second third is here. Now you can see I've overlapped the sky a little bit. That's absolutely fine. And just like I said, it's painting with fleece. You're just going to colour in your hill. So your first hill, which is your farthest away hill, colour it in. So it looks a bit like that. And you're going to choose your second colour, your darker colour. I'm going to use this blend. But whatever colours you've got in your pack, it doesn't really matter. It just has to be slightly darker. I'm going to draw my second hill in. And you can see this time what I've done is I've overlapped the first hill. And then I'm going to colour it in. All the way down to the bottom of my second third. And then we're going to pop the browns and the greys to the side and we're going to get our greens. So you should have at least two, if not three, greens in your pack. So I want you to sort them into light and dark again. So I've got three greens here, a light, a mid and a darker green. So we're going to start with the lighter green because when our eyes look at um, landscapes, the furthest away part is lighter. So we're going to take a bit of the lightest green and we're going to pop that on like that. And then we're going to take a bit of our middle green, just a bit like we did with the sky. I'm going to pop that on like that, so you're just painting with your fleece. And then a little bit of the darker green if you've got one. If you've only got two greens, just use two greens, it doesn't really matter. Okay, but you're just adding that darker colour like that. Dead simple. So the rules are thirds, one, two, three. The sky has to be dark to light, the hills are going to be light to dark, and the foreground is going to be light to dark. And then in this little pack here, if we open that up, I'm going to show you how to do some easy sheets. And in your little pack, you'll find lots of little bits of white. Now this stuff is silk. And there's all different little bits there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some um, clouds in the sky, maybe a little bit of snow on the hills. So let me get my silk. So if you can you see this stuff? If you should have a bit of this, looks a little bit like cotton wool. What I want you to do is take a tiny little bit of that, and I mean a tiny little bit of it, and you're going to tease it out. So that it's not clumpy and it's really wispy and you're going to lay it in your sky for your clouds and then you're going to take a bit of this stuff which is so soft and fine and this is silk yeah i'm going to take a tiny bit of that again and we're going to use it as snow on our hills so we're going to put it on the farthest away hill because that's probably going to be the highest hill and we're just going to lay it on there and that's going to look like a little bit of snow on that far away hill. If you want, you can also take a bit of the silk and you can put it in your sky. You can hardly see it, but when you felt it, you will see it. And you might have this stuff in your pack or you might have some little bits like that. It's up to you what you do next. I'm going to pop a little bit of heather in my foreground. So I'm going to use a bit of this one and I'm just going to lay it right at the bottom of my picture 
like that. And that's going to make, hopefully look like a little bit of heather in the foreground of my picture. When you finish with all these little bits, the best thing you can do is put them back in the bag because they end up getting stuck to everything. So put them back in the bag and pop them to the side. So you want to make sure that all of your dry fleece is away out of the way. Now, sheep are dead simple. So in your pack, you've got this stuff and that's pre-felt, white and black. Now, the only rule with putting your sheep on is the further away the sheep are in your picture, the smaller. So if the sheep is away back here, it's going to be a tiny speck, like a dot on the landscape. And what you might want to do for that is, again, in this little pack, you'll find, let's find one. And these little things. Okay. And you could use that as a tiny little sheep in the distance in your picture. But if you want a sheep a bit closer, this is the easy easiest way to do a sheep. This is where you need your scissors. So you're going to cut, these scissors are a bit rubbish so bear with me. All my good scissors are at the shop. A circle. Pop the circle on. And then you're going to cut a little triangle. There we have a little sheep on our picture. I'm going to pop another little sheep on, I think. He needs a chum. We're going to have two sheep. So this is where it's up to you what you put on your picture. Everybody's picture will be different. So I'm going to pop that one off for the moment. And I'm just going to have two little sheep at the edge of my picture. Now you don't want to put your sheep right at the very bottom. Always have them up slightly and you'll see why in a minute. So all of your dry stuff out of the way, put it back in the box if you can. Um, and as you've seen, you don't need an awful lot of fleece to do this. So you might be thinking, oh, I've not got much left, but you don't need an awful lot. Tiny little bits just to give a bit of color. Don't worry too much if there's a bit of the white showing through, it won't matter. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our soap flakes. Um, now, what you have to do is get some warm water, um, an empty squishy bottle, and you're going to make up a solution with this. So I'm going to stop the video for a second, I'm going to make up the solution and then I'll tell you what to do.